I could see Nave and Mu inside. I assumed that they were preparing for the reconstruction. Run, Georgie, run! Hide from the evil! That little guy would star in his very own game franchise if I had my way. Hi. Monsieur. What do you think of this Brett? It makes me feel strange. My mother used to wear it. Your mother? But it's for men. It was the 60s, monsieur, when girls were like boys were like girls. Rich tea cookie? Ah, the biscuit that dare not speak its name. Save it for your English friends, monsieur. What can you tell me about this? I am afraid that I know nothing about that. What do you think of this coin? If you wanted to tip me, monsieur, you could at least pay me in euros. Or better still, franc. Whiskey? You offer me cock of the glen, monsieur? Have you no shame? I'll take a coffee. I don't think so. What? The coffee you desire, monsieur, is not served here. Well, how do you know what coffee I desire? Because I look into your eyes, monsieur, into your very soul, and I see. Is that right? So what exactly do you see? I see a tall glass of milky macchiato, sprinkled with chocolate, with a long spoon, and a biscuit on the side. Wow. That's exactly what I want. And it is precisely what you will not get. In my café, monsieur, I serve only café noir in tea cups. You know what? Suddenly I'm not thirsty anymore. So nobody else was here at all? No, monsieur. I think the police tape is putting my customers off. He wouldn't want to see it. Nico and I had a good idea who the killer was. Now all we had to do was persuade Nave. Sir, I already tried starting it up. I, I think it's broken. Nonsense, Moo. This machine has the power of ten investigators. But investigators never fail to start up, sir. Your pessimism is duly noted, Moo. But have faith. This machine will analyze the scene, compute the data, and deduce everything for us. The location of the second shooter will be a mystery no more. <clears throat> One moment. A marvel indeed, sir. Though, at the moment, it is kaput. Your pessimism has obviously infected the circuitry, Mu. Let me think for a moment. If I could just... Shh! Eh bien, Mu, now try realigning the laser matrix. Sir, I have no idea what that is. Move over, Mu. Now, let me see. Oscillating reverberator. Check. Refraction spectrometer. Check. Now, what can I do? Ah, Monsieur Stobacht, it's only you. Glad you could finally make it. Inspector, I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yes? I shall be the judge of that. I think I know who the killer is. 
Really? Yep, he's a gardener called Shears living in London. Fascinating. And the good news? We don't need to do your reconstruction. You joke with me, Monsieur Stabat. It's not a joke. This guy Shears was working for a Russian ex-mobster. It's all part of a highly complex fraud. Gardeners. KGB. Fraud. You are a fantasist, monsieur. And I have no time for fantasy. Reality is my suitcase, as you Americans say. Now, stand over there and keep out of trouble until the others arrive. Well, who are we waiting for? Mademoiselle Collard and Father Simeon. Please, I am very busy. Ah, Mou, a clever choice. But no cigar for you. Try the red. Mon Dieu! Lane. Stobart. What's the deal with that device over there? It's a farce. They've been trying to get it working for hours. Looks like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. It probably is. What do you think of Nave? The man is a buffoon. I have better things to do than wait for these idiots to get their forensic whatnot to work. The only silver lining is that Nave seems more annoyed than I am. I gather you're the man to ask about the provenance for the painting. For La Maledictio? Well, you have been busy, haven't you, Stobart? I'd like to see it. So speak to Bijou. She took care of the business side of the gallery. The provenance is in the office safe. She has the key. Lane was a pushover when you had him cornered. Though it looked like Bijou hadn't been completely honest with me after all. I needed to pay her another visit. What do you think of Moo? Who? The policeman with Nave. I assume he's another idiot. Why is that? I believe one can tell a man by the company he keeps. I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Lane. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes. Sir, I think we are ready to fire her up. Yes, Mu. I was just about to say the same thing. Do it. Mu, what have you done? Pardon me, sir, but... I believe it was you who said... This is no time for blame. You have broken the machine. Mon Dieu. Can I ask you something else? If you must. Changed your opinion of Moo yet? Who? Moo. Who? Never mind. Okay, thanks. Stabat. Monsieur Stobart, you will not leave until this is over. Understood? But I just need to... This is a reconstruction. You will remain here until I have concluded my investigations. Do I make myself clear? Okay, okay, clear. I considered making a run for it, but forcing Moo to chase me would have been cruel. And it would have been silly to risk my investigation. Better to play along with Nave and get the reconstruction over as quickly as possible. Inspector Nave. What seems to be the problem? Monsieur Stobart, if Paris' finest cannot get this very expensive and very complex machine to work, then I doubt if an insurance salesman can... I'm an insurance assessor, actually. Oh, I see. Well, la-di-da to you, monsieur. Oh, yeah? Well, la-di-da to you back. Hmph. <laughs> Whatever. 
You are neither qualified nor clever enough to operate such an instrument. Like us. What was that, Moo? I said, uh, unlike us, sir. Have you been a detective long? Long enough, monsieur. You've solved a lot of crimes, I guess. More than you have had hot dinners. Uh, I've had a lot of hot dinners, Inspector. Oh, yes? How many? What? Precisely how many hot dinners have you had, monsieur? I don't know. Uh, thousands? You prove my point for me, monsieur. Precision and accuracy are everything. You truly are a unique and amazing man, Inspector Nave. Well, I'm glad you are impressed. I was sure I could get the machine to work if I could just get Nave out of the way. It was pointless trying to get a closer look at the machine while Nave and Mu were tinkering with it. Inspector Nave. I know this sounds obvious, but are you sure it's plugged in? Monsieur Stobart, do you really think I would be so stupid as to not check the fundamentals? We all make mistakes. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. Look, I can see from here it's... Ah. Do you need assistance, sir? Very funny, Mo. One moment. That got rid of him. Now is my chance. I was going to have to figure that out quickly. Time to get the show on the road. See, Mu, I knew I would get it working. I'm not sure that you... Precisely. You knew my superior intellect would win through in the end. Yes, sir. Sir, I beg your pardon, but I think there is a teeny snag. Go. Go on. We have no victim. Good God, Mu, are you suggesting I kill someone for the sake of this reenactment? No, sir. Just saying we need a body, sir. Ah, yes. I see. You'll make a detective yet, Moo. I, of course, foresaw this, and I nominate... you. Me? Well, I'm not dead. Have you ever acted, Monsieur Stobart? Well, I... <laughs> Don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I went down a storm playing the lead in Cat on a Fell Tip Roof last summer. Hmm. You played the cat? Uh, no. So, not the lead. Half truths again, monsieur. Nevertheless, here is your chance to play a real lead role. But he looks nothing like the victim, sir. Oh, damn it, Moo. Must you find problems all the time? Let me think of a way to make this work. Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a long, long wait. I had to find something to make me more like Henri. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something. Yes, you do that. Very similitude is the key, Stobart. Ah, you have arrived at last. Please, make yourselves comfortable. We are just making some last-minute adjustments. Father Simeon, Nico. Hi, Josh. Welcome to the asylum. Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed we've solved the case and is putting us up for an award. 
Mm, not quite. I told him about Shears and Madofsky. He says it's fantasy. But that's crazy! Tell me about it. So what do we do now? Carry on anyway, and nail Madofsky. What about Nave? Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Well, sooner it starts, sooner it's over. Josh, what on earth is that machine? It's Nave's baby. Supposedly, it's going to analyze the crime scene and tell us what happened. But we already know what happened. Sure we do. But Nave doesn't. Quiet! Please! How can I concentrate with all these rackets going on? Lane was right. Nave was an idiot. Hey, Nico. What's new? Not much since we last spoke, George. Hello, Father. Mr. Stobart, will this take long? I'm not sure. Nave appears to be struggling with the machine. I'll pray for some divine intervention, then. If you think that'll help. The Lord is always listening, George. The best place to find Henri's things was in his office. 